Okay, so you guys can be my psychologist for today. Uh, so we're working on this, 10 more. And it's got this funky centrifugal switch. The centrifugal switch on this has gone bad. It's the first time I've ever seen a centrifugal switch go bad. This is the centrifugal switch. Basically, <sighs> there were some parts that <clears throat> the owner had already vacuumed up. So I can't show you those parts. And there's probably a couple screws that the... <clears throat> the uh, owner vacuumed up as well um, and the thing is is that we got a new motor for it and so I told my friend to go ahead and order the motor she ordered the motor and she has this habit of uh, um, leaving her phone off the hook when she goes to sleep and sometimes she doesn't put it back on the hook if she doesn't remember and so I've called her up she calls me a couple times she calls me three times I call her back her line is busy because her phone is off the hook right because um, usually I'm out and about working during the day and I don't call till uh, after five or in the morning and so she doesn't get any phone calls right Oh, I've been calling you for three days straight. I've got to get this motor in. <clears throat> and I've called her for three days straight, and she, her line is busy. I'm going to get somebody else to install that motor for you instead of you. And uh, you'll have a bunch of time wasted if you don't get back to me Sunday, right? Sunday. I've got to get this thing done. No, I don't have any tenants here, but I've got to get this thing done because I ordered this motor. And it's here. <sighs> the other one was... Oh, uh, you sold us a refrigerator three months ago. And the thing has a funny smell to it. And uh, we've got three kids. Well, why did you wait for three months to call me? Um, we want our old fridge back. Okay. When can you do it? probably not today but the way things are going I'm gonna try and get it done today because Murphy's law right anyway let's try and put this motor in this thing and be at least be done with this project oh and if you get any water in here uh, make sure you clean up any water spots you have going back and forth to get your tools okay so and knock knock at your door for 20 minutes there's no eve i'm standing out in the rain oh well the, the studio is open go ahead is the motor in there too oh yes the motor is in here okay okay and by the way this is a reverse thread so basically it goes this way goes clockwise to loosen on this particular one and these are i think they're the same on some of the samsung's as well so yeah and then there's uh two clips looks like that hold the motor in here yeah, they have to come out okay so you gotta get that belt so there's no flips in it it's all flat <coughs> got the motor in and probably just put another torque on that just for the heck of it uh, yeah so this belt that panel and that panel and we'll hook that back up and we're ready to roll yeah okay sometimes it's good to mark these drums take a felt pen and mark it outside inside they look the same but for some reason they don't line up the same when you put the belt on um so on this belt you can see we've got a kink in it so we have to put it on again um uh so basically it's got to run on the same slot if this barrel was swapped the other way it would run on one of these high ends of this loop here whatever this 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 hump there's a hump right here um so it's got to it's got to ride on that low end it can't be up here if the, if the drum was swapped around the other way it would ride on a high end and so it rides on when it rides on the high end it gets too close to the heat element down here and so when you're taking it apart it's good to mark this barrel so you know which one is the front and the back even though it looks the same here 
it may not may not be different and it may be different when you uh, hook a belt on and you have to have it on this particular one riding in the slot on the outer drum otherwise it gets if it's on the outer side of this it gets too close to the heat element and will burn the belt uh, and the belt will fail prematurely so that's your tip for today thanks for watching always unplug first of course right